honey, baby, baby. Celebrity Insider caught the tea today. <laughs> yes, it's all about Nene. It's Nene's world again. She is reminding all of us, all of us as a human race. She ain't got time for our mess, honey. She ain't got time for it. All right, if we ain't putting money in her pocket, then she ain't got time for it. Now, I feel I'm helping Nene out a little bit, okay? So, she shouldn't get too hard on me. She shouldn't get down on me like that because I'm keeping her relevant. I'm making videos about her. My videos are going global. And, hey, if people didn't know who Nene was on any side of the face of the earth, I'm helping Showing her relevancy across the world. Okay, I'm spreading a little love for Nene. You know, I'm being positive about Nene because Nene is just playing out who she is. You know what I'm saying? Um, a little bit comes out of who she is, and a lot of her comes out of who she's trying to portray. You know what I'm saying? It's always two sides to a person. Don't ever forget that. You got the bitter side, and you got the sweet side. And then you just got that in-between in side that we hadn't even digressed to even put a label to. Okay? But, hey, Nene is telling everybody who can hear, who have eyes to see, to read, and who have ears to hear when she come out verbally and tell you what she means about a particular subject and the subject matter tonight is she telling everybody hell i ain't annoyed i am not annoyed but i'm gonna tell you one thing you're not gonna say i am basically the big bad wolf of mike and cynthia's nuptials 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 i believe it is are they upcoming nuptials all right i ain't mad i ain't mad at Cynthia calling herself getting, um, what do you call it, getting married or engaged to be married. I got a man. I got a man, honey. Had this man for I don't know how long. And I'm thinking about do I need to upgrade? <laughs> like Beyonce said, let me upgrade you, upgrade you. Okay, or better yet, let me just replace you. How about that? Irreplaceable in Beyonce's words. Okay. So, I thought it was just totally hilarious that she would come out and say that, hey, I don't know how social media is trying to paint me. I don't know how my co-workers or constituents are trying to paint me, but I ain't jealous. Okay. And then she gave us a one, two, three punch out of hits of why she is not checking for Cynthia or Mike Hill. Okay. She ain't throwing salt on their new engagement. She could care less in a sense, but since... Cynthia is one of her co-workers. She thought, well, okay, I'll bring it in nicely. I'll send her a little card that's cute, and I'll send her a little gift that shows I am glad they found a union with each other. Okay, now I don't know how long it's going to last, but don't nobody know how long it's going to last when they're in a relationship or when they're in a, trying to be in a relationship that leads to marriage. Hell, we don't know. We just get in it. We try to survive in it. We can't. We go separate ways. All right. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. But Nene got on her social media feed. Okay. She, she like them Twitter fingers. Okay. And then if she really want to show her fashion, just swag, one, two, or three, she goes on her Instagram account and put any kind of bullshit she want on there that we ready to digest. Okay. Because I'm still with her when she's saying, I got Trump checks. <laughs> I'm a rich bitch. Okay, that's what she said, honey. I'm like, okay, 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 Nene. You had to step out, do your own. Uh, leave Housewives of Atlanta for one season. Or was it two? Can't remember, but let's just go with one to give her the benefit of the doubt. And she saw it wasn't being very fruitful. And she's like, okay, I need to go back to Real Housewives of Atlanta where I started. So I'm, a, I'm an OG. I got to come up with all drama field type scenarios to put me back on top. Okay, because this venturing out, eh, it's not my bread and butter. I need to go back home. I need to go back home where I belong, where I took the title of queen. And I must reign again because they desperately need me for headlines and stories. Okay, let me get my negotiating on. Okay, so she went back, talked to uh, Andy Cohen and the rest of the Bravo um uh, Cast that, uh, or not cast, but producers and executives and all that kind of stuff saying what she brings to the table and what she can continue to bring to the table. So they took her up on her offer, okay, and they let her 
uh, come on back. And the rest is history, okay? She's been, you know, doing drama field stuff ever since. Like, she ain't never left. But her arch nemesis is Kenya Moore. Yes, yeah, she done twirled on back into the scene. She done came back and snatched her peach back. Started to see Shamari go and get demoted to a friend of a friend of a friend. But... Her thing with Chamarba was bringing us was a tease of drunkenness, okay? And her babies, you know, and, and, and you know, she can't identify because she's been so locked down with the babies and marriage. She just had to fly free. So that took her off of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta because they didn't want to see nobody uh, fly free and be a drunk on the side. You know what I'm saying? That's what she was giving us, the tease that she was leaving us with. Every time she go out with the girls or have uh, social events with the girls, she got to call herself getting plastered and doing weird shit. Now, you know we can't get up with that. We can't do that, okay? We got to be professional on all levels, even when it comes to the drink and drink, okay? But that just is how it is. Still glad to see Shamari and uh, Demoter Friend Row because, you know, she could take it and spend it and be like Marlo. You ain't got to have a peach and still get on the payroll. <laughs> still be on the payroll. Still, um having a nice platform to support any type of other endeavors you want to talk about. It's free press, you know what I'm saying? So, Shamari, please take your moment and time and seize the bag, okay, for as long as you can. Our Marlo show has been on every season or every other season as a friend of the friend of Nene, and she getting paid, okay? She might not hold a peach, but she getting paid just like the rest of the ladies. How little, how large, it doesn't matter. It's still a regular paycheck coming in, okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But anyway, getting back, because we must go back to my sidebar and the article that I have chose to talk with you all about. Yes, I am sitting down in my comfort. And again, when something teases me or I have to think and have se uh, separate thoughts about why did they do that? Why did they go out there and say that? That's damn foolish. You know, what, what's going on here? Okay, what in the world is going on? What's how my uh, uncle say? What the Sam Hill is going on? <laughs> Come on in out the cold weather, sit and squat. Okay, let's take a little sit down, chill time, and get into this story. Okay, cock a squat, a cock, cop a squat. Y'all think that's what it is? Basically saying, Come on out of the cold and have a seat and get warm back up, okay? <laughs> so, <clears throat> again, my friends at Celebrity Insiders dropped this tea on my feed line, my social media feed line, and I thought I'd just talk about it. Now, the person that brought this to fruition, the journalist that did her darn thing, okay? Even though I'm sure she has to do her darn thing if she continues to want her paycheck. She's none other than Mayor Walker, okay? Mayor Walker brought this story out for Celebrity Insiders. Her employer. Oh, okay. God. The title goes and reads, Not the Big Bad Wolf of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Is there hope for her to make peace with Portia Williams and Kenya Moore? I don't know. I don't know. But let's go on into it, okay? The story reads, or the article reads, okay? A fed up Nene Leaks is using Candy Burris's voice. To let the world know that she is no longer the big bad wolf on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. The TV star and businesswoman took to social media and she shared a message blasting the media for saying she was bitter and angry when Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill got engaged. Okay, that's what we come here to the table for, to partake of this foolish, this nonsense. Nene said people put sight on her name. Now she's given us the title. Uh, the media. I'm a part of the media world, so I guess I need to check myself and make sure I'm giving factual stuff out there because I wouldn't want no litigation to come to my doorstep. So all of this is what Nene is saying, okay? I'm just reinforcing. I'm giving her relevancy. I'm bringing her story to life on my little platform, okay? Which we want to see it grow. So please like, 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 Share, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But mostly like, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay? All right. Anyway, yeah, that's what she's throwing on us today. The reporters of the uh, news that happens in the world today as it is happening. Okay? So she's throwing a little salt on our name, but I keep telling these celebrities, y'all put y'all sales 
in this situation where y'all want to be known, whether it's for good things or whether it's for bad things or whether it's just for drama. Okay, this is how you choose to make your money. And when you put it out there on social media, which is a free platform for everybody to digest all the bull crap and dissect it and spit it back out with their truth or their perspective or leave it alone. They just, you know, sit and read and say, oh, Lord, I talked to my friend about that, this, that, and the third or whatever, or like-minded people. We'll get together, we'll congregate, and we'll just talk. But, you know, people like myself, we like to get on YouTube. We like to express our opinions and give it to everybody else. So it's just like talking to our friends, but on a bigger forum. forum. Okay, so get right on into it. Okay, going back to the story, it says, using the famous line, Candy used when going after Phaedra and Portia and uh, Williams, you know, doing that whole, I think it was, was it season 10? Can't remember. The seasons just seem to clash all together like waves on a, uh, a seashore line, okay? But uh, she goes on to remind us that you remember when um, Nene had to say this about the lies? You remember how Candace saying, you know, using her expression at some reunion it was, lies, the lies, the lies, you know what I'm saying? And we already knew the lies had stemmed from Phaedra Paul, since she, Phaedra Paul is blaming, blaming True Entertainment for them compromising her uh, demise from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> she said, the company told me to do this. I didn't want to do it, but they needed drama. I'm like, girl, you're a lawyer. You're an entertainment lawyer at that. You fed into the bullshit? You fed them getting you out of your job in, as the Real Housewives of Atlanta spokesperson? Okay, so mm, they really didn't want you, and you got played major time, okay? Stay with that mortuary business. It seems like it's going to do you more luck than being an entertainment lawyer, okay? But that was my, my sidebar. That's me putting a little edification on 10 to bring out that perspective of how uh, Phaedra Paul with all her uh, smarts and wits got played by Bravo, okay, the Bravo franchise, and we can see she wants to get back on, she want to get back on with them, but they were like, mm -mm, I don't think so, <laughs> I don't know, we'll put Apollo on before we put you on, and then we'll get some real tea, because he going to be spilling it, he with somebody new, he ain't going to shade his his baby mama that much, because he going to be uh kind of, what do you call it, empathetic, sympathetic, because the kids are involved, you know what I'm saying, you might have to use code names for the, his ex, or basically nice nasty shade her <laughs> but bravo is going out and full guns on apollo honey so we got to expect to see him get some um shine from bravo because they just want to know how he's been how did he survive those years he was locked up what was his thoughts about this that and the third and he never thought this day would come the release date. Now, I ain't going to do no story around him until he fully come out the cook clanker. Okay? Low security, high security, don't matter. Cause you do a story on Apollo, got dog here, turn around and do something else and have him back in the clank clank two days before being released. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to wait till he become a free man, a free citizen of society. Okay? We're returning back to the world at large. Okay? But getting off that, we go back to the article. Nene says, number one, why would I explode why? Child, I don't want high blood pressure. Okay. Don't claim it, Nene, because it just tears you up. It really does. Breaks you down. Do every kind of nasty thing to your body, especially if it's uncontrolled. I speak with experience. I know. Okay. So, you know, you don't want to uh bring up, put in the mix of wanting to have high blood pressure. So, keep your cool. Do what you got to do and move on. All right. But on uh, another level, number two, she says... I sent Cynthia Bailey, uh, the night of her engagement, a beautiful gift and card. I couldn't be happier for her finding love again. Okay, like she's been around the block several times. I don't know, because Cynthia, I mean, because Nene say she got her husband. Whether she thinking she want to keep him for future reference and just to have him as her side piece or whatever. I don't know. She got him as a side piece, middle piece, front piece, end piece. It doesn't matter. I don't really think Greg going nowhere unless the Lord take him home. She just want to give him a few inches of how he did her. Because he, he uh, said that uh, Greg had cheated. He agreed that he had cheated. I don't know when he had time to cheat, but it just is what it is. Because he be with Nene just like a pocketbook hanging from her shoulder. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, I really don't know when he had time to cheat. So it just is what it is. We're going to move on to number three. Number three. She poses at Radar Online and all the others who continue to pick this up. 
post writing trying to diminish damage my character should try using their time in a more productive way like donating to the american cancer society the lies the lies and candid voice uh facial expression and her demeanor the lies okay i'm like Nene, come on girl stop that you know if we didn't keep you in our mouths giving you that extra buzz out there on social media, you couldn't negotiate a wonderful, lucrative contract. Because, yes, you are a household name, but you don't come for good things, honey. You come for drama, okay? Anything that's negative, it attaches to you, all right? You may do some good here and there, but we come strictly to see you cut up, give us all this craziness, mindless drama that we seek to put in our lives from time to time okay so let's keep it real nene you do us justice we do you justice that's just how the entertainment world goes if you give us positivity in this um most people are not gonna like it they don't care you know it's just what you should do <laughs> but when you spin and give us that drama that unexpected tenure of excellence we expect from you every time you hit the platform yeah, we come through the we come to that like in droves, okay? Like water flowing freely, and we need to get it because we just been in the desert, okay? A very dry desert storm. So we need to reap all the new um hydration as possible. Okay. So Nene, that's what you bring to us. Excitement and drama filled episodes. All right. I don't know how you're doing on the tours with this comedian. Uh, a comedy strip you're trying to do because I don't find you as funny as in ha ha I find you as dang they did that with God dog and I get my ch uh cackles and clicks and 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 laughable moments then okay you make me laugh in another way you know it's not like oh if I go see uh, a, a comedy person that just have me out my stitches and I'm just crying tears down my face. Not that kind. You, no, you don't get me that way. But I just like the way you put people in check, okay? And they come for you and you remind everybody it's not about friendships. It's all about the money. <laughs> friendships can't pay my bills. Friendships can't help me stay in the lap of luxury that I am acquired to and accustomed to. No, okay? Money does. So whatever I have to do to get this money, I'm going to get it. That's what need you telling everybody. And you got to respect the hustle. I can't do it. No, 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 no. I'm like uh, TLC, T-Boss. That's why he was saying that her and Chili was uh, approached about coming in and uh, joining the franchise of Bravo's um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. They said, uh-uh, because I'm about that life. You say too much slick shit for, to me, I'm going to be around that thought. <laughs> I'm going to catch a case. And it's Bravo franchise going to get me out of jail and dismiss charges and expunge and, and, and put everything back together like I didn't commit a crime, a felony crime at that. Are, are y'all going to do that for me? And if they said no, they're going to like deuces. I can't see you because ain't no way in the world no woman up in here going to respect, disrespect me and think I ain't going to handle them on TV. <laughs> Out loud, large and in charge, okay? So I couldn't do nothing respect t Boz, you know, because she ain't about that life. She ain't about that life. She ain't about that fake life. She like, mm, I was married to Matt Ken, honey. I come with the drama in them hands, okay? So y'all ain't ready. When y'all get a TV program where you come with them hands and not get prosecuted, then I'm there every day, all day, okay? Because I ain't going to be bothered with no grown women acting like they in high school, okay, and can't catch a charge. But now, on these high school, middle schools, and elementary, they put hands on somebody. Mm -mm, they going to uh, juvenile. <laughs> they got to go. They uncivilized. We can't have all this mess running around here in these streets, okay? But anyway, getting back to the article, she goes on her, uh, shoot, I don't know if this, yeah, Instagram page, and she writes, Celebrated my sister and Marlo Hampton release of her new wig line. Her super proud of you, Marlo, for stepping out on faith. I'm sure it will be a success. P.S. Hmm, that bias has Real Housewives of Atlanta pages full of shit. Extremely negative and stay trying to tell lies. Watch out for copyright infringement. Go unfollow them. They are not a real fan page. Okay, so Nene trying to shut down other things or, or other entities just trying to give her a voice, and she said, uh-uh, if I didn't speak it, you can't publish it. <laughs> and if they ain't giving her no true light 
of some positivity, she got to shut you down. Okay, she gonna report, she gonna find something in her spare time to get people that are really truly making numbers off her. She gonna make them pay, honey. She gonna make them pay. I like, see, if we just keep it kosher like I do with Nene, our little friendship we have on the tube, okay, which is non existent. It's just up in my mind, okay. But I try to get the facts as how I see them. It's undisputable facts, okay. My perspective, but what I'm saying is basically what Nene said. I'm just giving it back to her on my spin, okay, or how I see it and how it's flowing, okay. Is it touching and agreeing with me? <laughs> if not, I gotta give it back to uh, all right. But continuing on in the article, it said uh, one person had this reaction. If it wasn't for Nene, those helpers wouldn't have jobs. Now I got to agree. I got to agree. I got to agree. Because the first one that uh, popped off with Deshaun Snow and um, Lord, I can say Lisa Ray, but what is her name? My dog. The one married to Keith Sweat. Ah, y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm gonna say Lisa, but I don't know if that's her name. Yeah, it is. It's Lisa Wu. Or something like that. Okay, anyway, it's irrelevant. Been gone for a long time. Sheree Whitfield, Kim Zolzak, you know, all those OGs. But the only ones that really stuck out was Nene. Okay, Nene been carrying the whole show on her back. Yes, she had. Because when we look for entertainment or silliness, Nene give it to us all day long, honey. Because she tell you, up front and in charge, I come for the money. I don't come for you. <laughs> come for the money, the greenbacks. I don't even come for the coins. They can't even stack up to my legacy. I need paper bills. Okay, I need them Benjamin Franklin. I need every higher denomination out there that got my name on it. Okay, I ain't here for the conversation. Not really. I'm here for the drama. That's what they pay me for, and I'm here for my paycheck. The other stuff like friendship, uh, camaraderie, unity, I, I, I can't get with that. It can't pay my bills. I can't go there. <laughs> y'all that's what nene said okay but anyway uh yeah she said that was one commenter commenter um uh, 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 post and i agree wholeheartedly with that then she goes on to say she created the whole storyline last season and for this season bloop that you know that's uh you know touching a agree spirit bloop of what nene gives us when she's making a comment and it's like question uh explanation point okay I said what I said. Bloop. Okay. Just to give y'all a reality of what I was going with an example. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, we go on. It says, I truly to believe I truly do believe the media needs to stop painting Miss Leaks as the big bad wolf trying to blow all these houses down. She stated at a reunion that that is this issue caught on film or text, anything. If viewers are smart, they won't support clickbait to put coins in the pockets of those sad and insecure of their own life. They sold they sold long ago and will re realize it one day. Okay, then another commenter stated, they use you for clickbait. Everybody trying to make a dollar off you. When I see things about you that seem negative, I keep scrolling by. If it's not positive, it doesn't get my attention. Love you, queen. Okay, that was another commenter. I have hardly agreed with her when she's saying people are trying to make money off her name. When Pete, when Nene dropped names of famous entertainers that she don't rub elbows with or gave hugs and kisses to, she name dropping too. So everybody uses everybody in the entertainment world. You just have to have eyes to see and ears to hear. Okay, thank you. Moving on. Okay, another one uh, commenter said this backer, Explain. I swear I got tired of seeing the trolls trying to come up with BS, thinking you would be negative when I know you're a strong black woman who who's willing to praise one another regardless of what the situation may be. We need more of this in our community instead of having us have to teach or tear each other apart. Okay, that's the crab in the bucket mentality. When we will we ever get out of it, I don't know, but everybody recognizes what they do on a daily basis. We have to hold ourselves accountable or how we act to other individuals. Okay? Call it what it is. Put it on a higher platform. Are you really wanting to see your a sister, your brother uh, in Christ or just an individualist excel? I am. I think we all can eat. But then you have greed and people just want to monopolize the whole level of the playing field. So, will it ever go away? No, because you're going to always have good. You're always going to have bad. It balances everything out. Just what team are you playing for? My pun intended. That's how I get down. Okay? 
moving on. All right, the next one says, Nene says she did not have friends on the TV show. Some are wondering if she will make peace with Kenya Moore and Portia after writing this message. My advice to that commentator or that uh, person that wanted to give her say or matter or opinion in the subject matter, no, no, no. Nene came to slay money. She did not come to slay friendships. The only one that I have seen her hold on to, and it was Rocky Touch and Go, because she had to dismiss her a few times as well. But she knew she was a very good ally to keep. So it's better to almost say the old uh, adage is to keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. So the only one that I can say she's nice, nasty too, but she ain't going nowhere because Nene needs her is Marlo Hampton. Okay? She done met her match when it comes to Marlo. All right, like I said, if anybody had to replace Nene, I would venture to say, go get Marlo, honey. I don't care what kind of crime she did. As long as she ain't kill nobody. Okay? Did she kill somebody? Bravo. It's why y'all won't give her that peach. That honorary peach, China. Is, is it? That's what it was. That's why she got to stay the friend of the family, or friends of friends, of real housewives of Atlanta to get exposure. I don't know what it is, but like I said, if you're not gonna, <laughs> if you're not gonna give Marlo a peach, then definitely keep her on as a standard clause to her to be a friend of a friend, even if Nene tries to kick her to the curb, which I think Nene done learned her lesson. It's better to be allies with some uh, go getters of foolishness than to be enemies of them. So Marlo is on another world where she's capitalizing. You know what I'm saying? She is an escort, I do believe. It is definitely has been very lucrative for her. Okay? So it just is what it is. And she meets a lot of interesting men. <laughs> Let's just keep it like that. And they definitely take care of her. So however you want to put it, it's, it's, it's on you. Marlo says she don't care. She ain't got to have none of y'all opinions. She's here to make her money too. So I think Nene is basically taking a page out of her playbook. Okay? And I got that wrong with it. Do you. Do however you want to do. Just know that whatever you put out there, you get it back. All right? So if you're putting a lot of positiveness out there, you're surely going to get positively back to you down the road. You put that negative out there, we all know what's going to happen. Okay, karma, it bites you in the butt when you least suspect it. If it don't get you, it gets somebody closer to you that you love. So I would stay true to yourself. Be nice. Be kind to people. And if you have to call yourself, get them together. Do it in a very respectful way. But they know where you're coming from. So they know not to come knocking at that door and not leaving you but gifts. Okay, don't leave no salt. Don't leave no uh, surprise package there, okay? No, we don't like those kinds of surprises. We like the ones that definitely come with a receipt and come with who sent it. <laughs> They're the ones we get down. I'm telling you, Nene likes that true entertainment. Check, all right? She don't want to see anything else. She just want to see that not in her bank account or it comes through mail cashable to her all right but that's all i have for this story y'all i just like I, i'm tired of people getting on my nene we make her relevant she makes us relevant okay we all get money together some on a lower scale some on a very lucrative scale doesn't matter everybody getting their shine isn't that what it is when you come on um social media platforms some show their faces some hide behind the screen i happen to do both you know I'm, I'm comfortable with either or it's just i like pictures i like visuals i like people to see where i'm coming from so i ain't just talking a lot of bull to them i got little receipts as in vi uh video clips that y'all can say mm, okay she's kind of telling the truth well yeah she is telling the truth oh i like how she's spinning okay and even if you're indifferent and you hate me and you you, you just want to tear me down okay i'm built for it it's okay. I, I appreciate it. I get my comments. I get my opinions. So I open up the door for you to do the same. It's all washes out like water. Okay. Anyway, that's all I have for this story. Y'all come on back to my channel. Okay. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And definitely share, share, share. Like, like, like. But I really like the ones where you like, like, like. And you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay. Be blessed. And I'll talk to you next video. Goodbye.